Gaflet. Station of Gaflet. Station of heatlessness. <coughs> that is a very dangerous station. It can hit you if you are not careful. A station of heatlessness. It will get you from every angle. And if you are saying shahadat and you are worshipping, you are fasting, you're giving zakat, you're going to hajj, but you're being heedless, you lose it. Out. You. You're sleeping in front of me? Get out. Sleeping, <laughs> coming to listen to sohbat once a week is torture, and sleeping. The sohbat is supposed to happen every day. You need sohbat to remind you. If you're not getting sohbat from here, where are you getting your sohbat from? From outside? Oh, but I listen to videos. I read the sohbat. You think it is the same? Hmm? If you are not engaging, participating in the sohbat, it is not going to give you. So the station of heedlessness, what we are talking about. Man is worshipping and doing so many things. But... If he's not understanding where his ego is tricking him, if he's not being awake and aware, that time, all the worship that he's doing, everything that he's doing in the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it may be lost completely in a split second. How does heedlessness? It attacks you in every way. Anger. <laughs> if a man... Of course, here we're talking about men, men and women, young and old. If they're heedless to where the anger is going to come from, how it's going to attack you, what you are supposed to do when that is coming to you, what you're supposed to do after that, then that anger, like what Hazrat Ali is saying, it begins with madness. And it ends with regret. What is madness? Madness is when you lose your mind. Same station when you are heedless. You lose your mind. You're not thinking. You're not being aware. You're not being that one that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is describing. Through his holy prophet, wasalam, Because whatever prophet wasalam, is saying is speaking for his Lord. Beware from the vision of a believer because he looks with the nur of Allah. That one will not fool and will not be fooled. But if you are heedless, you are thinking enemy is going to attack in front, is attacking behind, you're finished. You think the enemy is going to attack from the right, it comes from the left, you're finished. We are here in Sohbet to try to understand where the hundreds and thousands of the tricks and traps of our ego that makes us to be blind. To make us to understand where it's coming from, what are our blind spots. They say, blind spot? Blind spot. You think, you know it's coming from this angle. But everyone knows it's coming from another angle but you are blind to it. You are not understanding. It will hit you. You get to a very bad accident that time. This is what we have to understand, to be awake, to be aware, to remember, to keep our faith strongly in these days. It is not to accumulate and accumulate and to accumulate more knowledge. 
Whatever faith that you have is, is to keep it strong, to keep it protected, not for it to be lost in these days. Because these are the days of the great fitna that is happening. There is confusion everywhere to take your faith away. And it's coming in hundreds and thousands of tricks. But you're not being aware to understand this. It will hit you. You and me. If we are not awake, if we are not understanding. Which is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying what? Be a jamaat. Be a jamaat. Be part of a jamaat. Oh, I don't like it. You don't like to be in a jamaat? What do you want to be? Man is always in a jamaat anyway. If you are not in a jamaat of believers, you are going to be in a jamaat of unbelievers. If you are not going to be in a jamaat of unbelievers, you are going to be a jamaat of you, your ego and your shaitan. That's it. Because if you are in a jamaat, you are going to have so many reminders. So many people, so many things that you have to be awake, you have to be aware and you have to fight and you have to uh, be busy. It keeps you busy in that. Otherwise, you're going to be busy with something that is nonsense, that is outside. These holy days that uh, we are in it, the holy night of Mehraj that is going to come soon, we should take some time to think where we have made progress in our faith, if we are making any progress. Don't just sit and say, oh, I didn't make any progress. I'm the bad one. I'm the lowest one. I'm the weakest one. Why are we being weak? The believer should not be weak. The believer must be strong. Are we understanding where that weakness is? Maybe you're not interested to see. It is important. Inshallah. We are not going to sleep in these holy days and nights too much. May Allah forgive us. We are going to be more awake and aware, not to be heedless, to understand which angle, direction the shaitan and the ego is going to take, and to be awake for that, inshallah. May Allah protect us and keep us safe in these days. Wa min Allah tawfiq al fatiha. Okay. Salam alaikum. Any questions anyone has? You say, we have something, you bring it. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Does Allah welcome all people? How do you become part of the community or worship with people if you don't share the cultures of Islam? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. 